fan belts are made of reinforced rubber, which are designed not to stretch, even under severe loads. That's gonna lock, but this round this concrete beam. A lark's foot is a simple technique for tying off climbing ropes and will hold my ladder in place. Let's give us a test. My ladder's going to be strong, but I'm concerned about the strength of this old floor that it's attached to. Like wood, steel reinforced concrete weathers and rots over time, making it brittle and weak. old-fashioned engineering. It stayed in place and I'm on the ground. It's time to find a way out of this building before it gets dark. It's treacherous moving through terrain like this when you don't know what's beneath your feet. Oh, God. Once I've done this, then it's some sort of shaft. Let's watch where you tread, look. There's an underground chamber beneath us, which might be worth exploring. There might, there might be a way out for us down there. I need some sort of torch, so hang on. I can use the things I've collected along the way to make an emergency self-igniting torch. Bandages from the medicine cabinet. Antifreeze for my overnight car. Okay, that will do. And this potassium permanganate we should react with the ethylene glycol in the antifreeze to create fire. Clock is ticking on this now. We take about a minute to start combusting. The levels of ethylene glycol in cold country antifreeze speeds up the reaction time to seconds, and we have wow. ignition. Okay, we've got fire, we've got light. Let's get into this place. And once underground, I'm up to my neck in the smelly stuff. Oh, God, man, I'm hooked on this pipe. I'm putting my wilderness survival skills to the test in a man-made underground labyrinth. There's another tunnel leading off this way. There's putrid sewage up to my waist, and I need to be careful where I put my feet. Here. It's shallower here, but the stench of sewage is still overpowering. Thing smells like a sewer here. Sewers are like underground highways linking urban areas, so they're good for getting from place to place. But there are some serious drawbacks. Bacteria from human excrement actually get into your body through so many different ways. Uh, not only through cuts and grazes, but also actually through your nose and your mouth just by breathing it 